some of the, the, the key areas that will allow us to move forward and are currently blocking us from moving forward on the area of freedom of religion or belief are around data collection. So working, um, needing to work with and map in a sensitive and safe way who is in a country, who is in communities, in a way that will enable foreign offices, um, governments around the world, um, also potentially even international NGOs, um, international institutions, those with reach in different countries able to have a religious literacy lens to what they're doing and how they're implementing policy on the ground and deciding how to work and even understanding what the gaps are. That isn't there at the moment. And that is a huge barrier, I think, to many governments overcoming the, the kind of focus on diplomatic work, which is speech, and that's almost a, the speaking to different countries, that's almost a political game um, that's quite narrow and almost inevitable what the outcome of those discussions will be. And in some ways, we're at a point where we're entrenching ourselves in our own positions and looking after our own and focusing on that and focusing on interest. So to be able to open up and respond to the genuine gaps, we really need data. I was struck this morning about when we started talking about in the panel that I chair on disaggregated data and how important it is to even have that discussion, to have someone like Simon Russell who's sitting there, who's there with you in HCR, who's working with refugees, who tackles this every day in the most extreme situations and says, you know, we need this data, we need to be careful how we collect it, but what happens if the data falls into wrong hands? So when, when we look at hate crime statistics globally, actually it still remains higher among race than it does among religion. But the lines between the two are blurred. So for example, in the UK we have Judaism and Sikhism are considered a race as well as a religion. So when you have these statistics on, on hate, there's a, there's a kind of blur between um, race and religion. And then each country has a different means of, of recording how those uh, statistics are, t are taken. And police are not necessarily certain about whether is this race or is this religion or is this something else. And maybe it's, it's that plus gender plus disability or, or sexuality or whatever. It's, it, all of these things are really kind of blurred.